Hello, I am Jim Cahoon. I thank you for trying this module. I believe you will be glad that you did. Let me start off by saying I am a passionate believer in the ability of the Lighthouse Learning Modules to transform our courses for the better. While the previous modules introduced the strategies, principles, and learning ideas more formally, my intention here is to show what happens in practice. And I do practice this Lighthouse CCC material on a regular basis. It has worked incredibly well for me, and I believe it will work well for you also. I love to teach, but I am not a natural teacher. When I started out, my class evaluations were very far from great. Applying the Lighthouse recommended strategies and principles transformed my courses to be some of the best at my school. I am not alone in my department practicing these strategies and principles. Together with my colleagues, we have created a collection of intricate courses that have changed our program to the better. We now have more and more diverse students in our program. The students we educate are overwhelmingly successful in completing our program. What's going on here? Who are the principals in this picture? Well, it's Galileo and the Doge of Venice. Galileo's accomplishments with these primitive device are amazing. With it, he discovered the phases of Venus, the moons of Jupiter, the rings of Saturn, saw sunspots, and discovered Neptune. Was this the beginning of modern telescope science? I don't think so. What we have really here is the beginnings of modern astronomy. I think those name differences are important. It's not the telescope that matters, it is the information discovered, the knowledge gained, and the actions it allowed. That's what's important. I think computer science is a misnomer for our field. It is probably too late to make a change, but I stress to my students what we are undertaking is a is digital problem solving. The name for this undertaking is Crestomathics, the study of interesting, useful things and processes. Tax calculations is probably not part of Crestomathics. I think the computing the area of a circle or the circumference of a circle is probably not there also. All right. Yes, they're problems. Yes, they might need some solving. But are they interesting to our CS1 audience? Unlikely. Now, what might be interesting is knowing whether you could date somebody. Is it appropriate? All right. There's a simple formula for calculating how old somebody has to be to be a reasonable date. That's something they might find interesting to do. It's also incredibly easy to access the U.S. website to get the weather, the current temperature, the forecast, and get it into a way, you can produce it into a way that your students, yeah, well, you know what I'm trying to say here. Also, hey, jelly bean contest is something that always interested me. And there is a really good formula for estimating the size of a jelly bean and the amount of usable space in a jelly bean jar. Together with those two formulas, you can get a really, really, really good estimate of the number of jelly beans in a jelly bean jar. And so if you're ever confronted with such a contest, hey, your students will be able to win. Now, picking problems is just one of the things I think that's sorry, picking important problems, picking interesting problems, I think is one of the big things that you can help change your classes. You gotta pick things the students find interesting, not that we find interesting. Yes, in April I'm concerned with taxes, but my students, I think for the most part, are not. And so picking problems is important. What I'd like you to do now is go out to lhforcs-cc.org slash problems and take a survey there.
right? We'll have you evaluate problems that you find interesting, all right? And let's we'll see how your tastes compare with people in general or in students in particular. If you want, you can get, you're able to customize this survey so that you can find out how your students, what your students find interesting versus students in general, versus other instructors in general. All right. If you go there, you'll find out things like this. Here is a demonstration of some problems that a group of instructors found interesting. The left-hand side is what they found interesting. All right, top 10 things. The things in yellow on that left-hand side were things that some students found, I should say students found interesting in general, all right? But if you look on the right-hand side, you see the things they found, the top 10 things they found. So there is some overlap there. Or well, is there or not? Well, yeah, okay. I'm redoing this. I'll say music player and password security and things like that are over, are overlapping, all right? But I'll observe that the top problem for student, student interest is not the top problem for teacher interests. Some of the things the students found interesting on that right-hand side, like medical diagnosis, well, it's, it's there, but not as high in, on the left-hand side, all right? And there's definitely things on the right-hand side that the students did not find interesting I'm sorry, there's definitely things on, on one side that the other people don't find interesting. All right, so students are different than instructors. That's one thing to learn from here. Now, also here, I have highlighted in green are the problems that students in general found interesting, but in particular, both genders found them interesting. All right, so photo manipulation, card games, music player, and instant messaging are the things that men and women on average found interesting as problems to consider. The ones in white on that right-hand side are the top 10, are, are the other problems that students in general found interesting, but there was a bias um, that females found them more interesting than males. I'll have to look that up also. All right.